Found this for $40 on the internet. 40. For context, here's the old piece with a, you know, twist. You twist the top and it goes like this. I put it on already. It's huge. But the only way I can power it currently is by using jumper cables and a battery. So I'm gonna take this four prong and we're gonna change that out for a seven prong unit. I've already kind of started the process. Here's what the other end of that looks like. The ultimate goal here is to be able to put a battery on this so I can use with the winch. I'll relocate this winch to the inside of the box and then I'll put a battery box here and I can have a trickle charger on that, that battery 24 seven, which ultimately means I can put this up and down whenever I want. So let's get into it. This harness itself has writing on it. So the green is our right turn. The brown is our tail light. So that means that the yellow is gonna be our left turn and the brown is gonna be our tail light going the opposite direction. I don't have reverse lights on this and I don't have an electric brake on this. B-U-E-B. Those are not going to apply to me. They're probably gonna to apply to you in your situation, assuming you have an electric brake or reverse lights on yours. So somebody told me and they paid a couple hundred bucks for this information. If you take the ground, instead of putting that directly to the frame, if you take the ground and run it to wherever you need it to go, you can, you can Y off the ground itself and you have a, an always good connection that's always grounded back to the vehicle itself. A wonderful world of electrical work. You always have stranded wires in a, in a 12 volt application. I'm gonna tin these first to make sure they don't spread on me and touch and short circuit. Does that help with anything? Solder, yeah, it keeps all the wires together. But these fumes, you don't want to breathe in. If I keep the wire with the soldering iron together, I can take this and this melts into the actual wire itself and goes and covers each strand. Oh. Did you know that? No. Now you know. No one's half the battle. G.I. Joe. Uh, my skills as a welder and as a solderer are poor at best. But you know what? At least I try. Pull the trigger. There you go and then just this part, and move fast like we were talking about. Oh, you need the flame underneath this red part, like that. Yeah, like that. Let's see, move, move, move. What you kind of end up with here at the end of it, in my case where I don't have brakes or reverse lights, this is kind of what you end up with. This is what it looks like prior to closing this up. You don't want to tighten it too, too much because look, if you do, it may, make things oblong, and I'm not sure that's a favorable result for anybody. If you close this up a little bit, the theory is this will close that mouth and make these wires all nice and tight. Again, don't over tighten. You're dealing with plastic and a version of plasticized rubber. This needs to be good, clean, contact. Perfecto. My next goal is to take this entire rig, put a battery right here in a battery box, and move the winch inside of the accessory box that I've got here. For now, this is everything I need. That's it. Yeehaw!